And the men's 200 back is the arena race of the night. And Jacob Pebley of the United States is going to be in lane four. What a moment it was when he made the Olympic team last summer. You can see the great Aaron Pearsall has the records. When Pebley made the Olympic team last summer, edging out defending gold medalist Tyler Clary, he told our Michelle Tafoya that he thought all day about his mom, Kathy, who had died 11 years previously of cancer as Jacob was entering the seventh grade. Well, he's going to be in lane four in this one for the United States. Pebley was fifth in this event in Rio. His good buddy and training partner Ryan Murphy won the gold. Pebley finished a second and a half behind Russia's Evgeny Rylov for the bronze. Great young man, 23 years old, swims for Dave Durden, Cal Bear, won the NCAA championship, team title a couple times, swam with Ryan Murphy, as we mentioned earlier, his teammate, who won three gold medals at those Olympic Games. Coleman Stewart of the USA, Marcus Thormeyer of Canada, Sean Lahane of the United States, likewise Hennessy Stewart from the US, Omar Pinzone of Colombia, Rob Hill of Canada, and Harrison Lear is just 14 years old in lane eight for the United States. Jacob Pebley last year elected not to swim the Pac-12s, instead swimming this Arena Pro Swim Series event in Orlando, and he finished just 55 one hundreds behind eventual gold medal winner in Rio and his good buddy Ryan Murphy. Yeah, and it certainly paid off for both of them as they went on to make the team. Had a good World Championships last month in Windsor, Ontario. Won the silver medal of the world. Out of the silver medal winning relay. It's a pretty good field, Rich. I mean, you've got LaHaye up there in three. A Pan Am gold medalist. 2015 in Toronto. He had a time of 115.47. And this is Stewart. See there, Harrison Lears is 14 years old. So it's club front range Barracudas in Colorado. What a moment for this young kid. And he is a young kid, but again, a great field. Tennessee Stewart was a, an Olympic trials finalist. Finalist Penzone, you mentioned him earlier, four-time Olympian for Columbia Swim in Florida. So this is a, a, a pretty good field for this early in the season. Penzone in lane six for Columbia, South American record holder in this event. But in lane four, it's Jacob Headley, the 23-year-old out of Corvallis, Oregon, a senior last year at Cal, who has the lead in the first turn, splitting at 27-56. Look, just looks so smooth out there at the head, nice and still. Just great tempo. You know, when you look at the, the best backstrokers in history, if you look at the John Neighbors and the Rick Carries and the Aaron Pearsall, Lenny Kraselberg, so the list goes on and on and on. A backstroke, as I mentioned at the top. It all starts with being so comfortable, very little wasted motion when they're swimming backstroke. That flutter kick, even though the dolphin kick you see coming off the wall is critical for that 10 or 15 meters off of each wall, the flutter kick is very, very important as well. And the 56 old line, by the way, excuse me, Rich, at the 100. Old line is to be the best, you've got to beat the best, and hats to help Pedley training every day for years against Ryan Murphy. I don't think there's any question that it helped him make the Olympic team alone, and I think it's going to help him go to that next level to swim against the very best backstroke in the world right now in Ryan Murphy. And in those trials, he was in the lane next to Murphy, and he got close to that lane line and drafted off. Right next to him, believe me, I think they probably had a little bit of a strategy here. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all. Jacob Pedley of the U.S. with the lead in lane four, heading toward the finish here. And it's a battle for second. Sean Lahane of the U.S. in lane three. Tennessee Stewart in lane five. Lane, a senior last year at Tennessee. Pebley going to win this one, 155-95. And a battle for second between Lahane and Stewart. And it's Sean Lahane's second. And he was 13 one hundredths. In fact, 14 one hundredths ahead of Hennessy Stewart. That's the best swim time-wise that I've seen here in Austin so far. That would have ranked him in the top 10 in the world last year. We haven't seen anything close to that right now. Again, those very little wasted motion when he's swimming. That great grab behind the catch. You just see him grab that water and just throws it back. And at the end, yeah, he gets a little tired. No doubt about it. Your arms are screaming right now. But at, at those turns that he has, no doubt about it, very long on each turn. 
And the, here's the turn. I mean, here's the end. There's no doubt he's, his arms are screaming, but he never over rotates, never pauses. He uses his core. He increases his tempo going in at the end. And 155.9 in January, six months after the Olympics Games, that's a great swim by Jacob Pebbly. Yeah, are you kidding me? And we're joined by Jacob Pebbly. We hear you breathing, Jacob. <laughs> Congratulations on the win here. You know, you finished fifth in this event in the Rio Olympics, 155.52. How about this, at 155.95 tonight? Did you expect it would be this good? I thought it was gonna be, at best, 156.9. Uh, I was pretty bitter, man, after the Olympics. Everyone's getting medals and I fell short. <laughs> Well, so I've been working my butt off to get well, back. But Jacob, what, what did that experience mean to you and how, that, how will that help you going forward? It told me that I belonged. I hadn't made a big international meet like that. So I have a lot of confidence every day in training to know that I do belong and that I can maybe get on that podium and hopefully get a gold someday. And training every day with two-time gold medalist Ryan Murphy, how much has that helped you? <laughs> it means everything to have. Uh, someone that's number one in the world to train next to you. you know you're doing well if you're within striking distance or beating him. Well, congratulations on the win here and uh, good luck this summer at the Worlds in Budapest and then in Tokyo in 2020. Yeah, if, if I make it. <laughs> nice <Okay>. job. <laughs> that's Jacob Pebley, Corvallis, Oregon native, senior last year at Cal. 38 of 45 American swimmers in Rio won a medal. Pebley was one who didn't. He is motivated by that and he has a win tonight here in Austin.